During our COVID uh, response, we've had a chance to train and maintain our readiness throughout the SOG here in Yokota and at Kadena Air Base, the Special Operations Group. But we haven't been able to do a lot of the integration exercises that we've been able to do normally under, under normal circumstances. So Griffin Jet gives us the opportunity to travel within Japan from base to base and train with our mission partners across both the, uh, the different services and with, uh, with other special operations units here in Japan. So we can really get the, the full effect of training with the, the MC-130s, the CV-22s, our special tactics, Naval Special Warfare, and uh, the other teams that we work with here in the Indo-PACOM AOR. It's important to constantly train together so we're ready. Special Operations remains the ready force to answer our nation's call, whatever, whatever they need us to do in the area. Again, whether that's personnel recovery, whether that's contingency response, some disaster emergency, we have a lot of allies, a lot of people in the region that depend on us to remain ready at all times. So it's really important we get together and train together and you know, nothing's gonna stop us when it comes to uh, getting together and working together. Even though, uh, even though we've had some restrictions imposed on us as, we've, as bases have had different readinesses with their health protection conditions, uh, we have remained ready and, uh, and able to work together and just integrate seamlessly as we always do across the globe. Overall, we're always excited to have these opportunities. We're always excited to work with our partners across the Indo-PACOM AOR and our soft partners. This is what we do. We remain ready right now for near-peer competition, for contingency response, for um, personnel recovery, or whatever we need to do in defense of the U.S. Japan or our allies in the region.